Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're doing really wonderful. And so we will be taking a look at the latest for the disturbance uh, 95L as well as uh, what is currently going on across the Caribbean and surrounding areas and what is expected through today in terms of that rainfall activity. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, so firstly, we are taking a look at what is happening for the Caribbean and surrounding areas, and we can see that there isn't much activity across the region. So most areas should be pretty sunny this morning. Uh, there's a bit of thunderstorm activity in some spots in Central America, such as Guatemala, going to Honduras, Nicaragua, a bit of activity there, and uh, also in the vicinity of the Grenadines and Grenada. And also for Trinidad, let's go ahead and uh, move to Northern South America, and then we will be drifting into that system. So not a whole lot happening, maybe some uh, shower activity for some spots and it is likely that there will be some more activity as uh, especially as we head to this afternoon and so going further up north now into the vicinity of our disturbance we can see here that uh, there is a lot of activity lots of showers and thunderstorms and where we see more of those shades of those dark uh, reds go into that black shade that is where we typically find a lot of rainfall activity as well and so this cluster of showers and thunderstorms is actually ahead of the disturbance itself. So it is located just within that region. And so as we look at the latest from the National Hurricane Center, let's go on to the seven-day outlook. Uh, there we have Dawn all the way up there. It should dissipate very soon, uh, maybe sometime later today or tomorrow, and uh, not a threat to anywhere. So there we can see the disturbance highlighted in yellow, given a 20% chance of development. So the chance has been on a decline, and now it is down to 20%. So unlikely that we will see a tropical cyclone become of this. However, all that shower and thunderstorm activity could uh, result in a lot of heavy rainfall, which can lead to flooding across some areas. So I want you guys to be aware of that because uh, even though it, we're not talking about something significant here, it could still bring dangerous impacts. And we've oftentimes seen where even tropical waves move by and dump a lot of rain and trigger flooding across some areas. So that is likely to be the case uh, with this disturbance here with all this activity. It's likely that as we head through today, some areas will experience some rainfall activity, nothing too crazy, but it's really as we head into tomorrow when most islands are expected to feel uh, impacts or most of the islands to be impacted will start feeling impacts. And so let's go on to what GFS has to show. Uh, and here we have the rainfall map. So as we see more of these shades of yellows, oranges, reds, as it becomes a lot more colorful, more rainfall activity is likely. So across parts of Central America, uh, uh, going to northern South America, it's likely that there's going to be uh, some more substantial rainfall. And then heading to the northern Caribbean, going up to the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, much rainfall not expected for most parts. There might be some thunderstorm activity developing here and there, but nothing crazy expected. And as we head to the east now, uh, there you can see that there is a pretty good chance of seeing some rainfall across some islands today. But it's, as I said, it's really as we're going to be heading into tomorrow. Even seeing that GFS is showing some very high totals through today within this area, maybe uh, rainfall activity in excess of around 80 millimeters of rainfall. So thankfully, all of this is expected to be offshore. Nonetheless, once this activity is going to be moving in, it is going to be bringing with it a lot of heavy rainfall, even gusty winds as well, and conditions won't be the same for all areas. So not everywhere will experience flooding, not, ex not everywhere will experience a lot of heavy rainfall. Uh, as we head on to the Euro model here, we can see that Euro is expecting something pretty much similar, some substantial rainfall across parts of Central and Northern South America. ABC Islands, Northern Caribbean, uh, going up to parts of Florida, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, not expected to receive much rainfall activity. But as we head to the Eastern Islands, especially from Guadeloupe southward, could receive some uh, downpours, maybe heavy showers at times. But for the Northern Leeward Islands, maybe going from around uh, Montserrat, Antigua, going all the way up to Anguilla, much rainfall is not likely. So unfortunately, if you've been longing for some rainfall that doesn't seem likely as we're going to be heading through today maybe a brief shower at the most but nothing intense is expected and so guys as we now take a look at the saharan earlier map here we can see that uh, there is quite a bit of dry air and dust uh, across the main development region and that is uh, the reason 95l has not developed into anything by now because trust me if there wasn't this much dry air out there we would have a tropical cyclone dealing with but it is here suppressing major intensification or development and then as it is going to be making its way into the caribbean it will encounter some uh, more unfavorable conditions 
conditions such as those stronger upper level winds and uh, some of this dry air and dust is also lingering around the northwestern Caribbean uh, so likely bringing hazy conditions to parts of Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Cuba, even reaching southern Florida and uh, the Yucatan Peninsula as well. So all this dry air, all these dry conditions, uh, not conducive for development when it comes down to our tropical systems. But uh, again, there is a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity that is going to be impacting the Lesser Antilles. And so again, I reiterate that you guys should take the necessary precautions and stay safe. Yes, many persons have been longing for the rainfall. I have been seeing the comments, but at the same time, we don't want anything too major that is going to do more harm than good and so i will keep you updated as time goes by and that is pretty much it for now but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i will respond as soon as i can and as always remember to be otherwise